Max is a better wingman than any other guy could ever be. I would, I would put Max up against any guy ever. What is up, YouTube? I uh, want to take this time out really quick. I'm at the park and I uh, wanted to make a video for you guys. Um, just kind of a fun video. I wanted to get away from my desk, but I did want to talk about a topic I think is, is kind of fun. Um, I grew up with dogs, as you can tell from the title, you know. Um, it's basically just from a, so a social perspective, not just with getting girls and talking to girls, but um, just anybody really, but I mean, girls preferably, you know, but when you're, when you have a dog, right? And you have, um, using the bathroom uh you have a big dog you know or just a, a, a dog that looks good i have a black lab so he's a full-blooded black lab doesn't have any spots nothing he's just solid jet black he has a really beautiful coat and i, I bring him to the park almost every day uh six days seven days a week some weeks i do it every day i try to do it every day unless it's like raining or something like that but one thing i noticed when i started coming to the park a lot is everybody wants to talk to him everybody wants to pet him girls always have questions you know people just they like to interact and it just makes it easier for someone to approach you if there's a conversation piece and max my lab he happens to be just a really good conversation piece so you know i, I have an opportunity to you know talk to people all the time especially girls and you know females and they got their dogs and they come out here and you know we let the, the dogs kind of hang out we let them socialize it's and dogs need that anyway they need to socialize but i get out i get to get in the sun i get to you know so we try to do about ten thousand steps out here uh they have a big um like fountain type thing i let them get in and all the people let their dogs and stuff swim in there so i do it um let them off leash even though this isn't a closed dog park I'm not supposed to do that but i do it because everyone else does it you know i'm a follower not a leader i'm just playing but um we come out here man it's fun and uh you know you can sit under the trees you can chill but i raised max uh from the time he was about i think eight weeks old um and man yeah just trained him really good taught him really good he's really obedient really calm and um i've met a lot of people coming to the park uh, you know even by myself you can still meet people as long as you know how to talk but having a dog man makes it so much easier because girls um one thing you guys probably already know i gotta fix this collar this leash oh, my bad so one thing um you know if you're a guy you probably already know this girls don't really approach guys very often that's that's a really rare thing um not that it doesn't happen at all but it's just it's it's rare generally you know girls are supposed to be pursued we're supposed to pursue them it's just how society sees it that's how they generally see it but oh, the rare occasion that i do have girls approach me and you know i talk to them get their number and things like that it's generally because of max like i, I owe a lot of uh he's like in my opinion this is my opinion Max is a better wingman than any other guy could ever be. I would, I would put Max up against any guy ever. But just you know, having a friend, just a normal friend, I would come with to the park if I'm trying to meet girls or I'm I'm kind of on the prowl or whatever, and I've been laying low a little bit, and I'm adding a girl to my rotation or something like that. This dude right here, I would bring him before I'd bring anybody else because I know I won't even have to work. I know I'm gonna talk to at least two or three girls at the park on a Saturday, without with without even having to try. Um, you know, I see people, they'll laugh, they'll, they'll wave, they'll, you know, you walk past people, it's crazy because you'll walk past people and they'll just be like, oh, hi puppy, or hi doggy, or people with kids, things like that. They just want to interact with them. And is he friendly? Can we pet him? That's, that's a daily thing. That's not like a, uh, sometimes, man, that's a daily thing. Can I pet your dog? Can I pet your dog? Yeah, of course you can, you know, and he's a friendly dog. So, you know, you can tell he just kind of, right now he's just grazing which he's not supposed to be grazing max <laughs> but he's just eating grass um but yeah I, I bring him out here man and like like i'm saying it's just it's easy like i've gotten so many numbers at the park just because he's with me and it just makes it simple so like if you have a problem i'm not saying get a dog for this reason let me let me clarify and let me just let me put this in there 
um, don't get a dog just for girls. You have to actually like animals, and particularly, my, in my opinion, you have to love animals, you have to love dogs, because they need a good quality of life if you're gonna buy a dog, or grab a dog, or rescue a dog, whatever. Um, they, I, I believe we should be giving them a high quality of life. He improves my life. He's like, you know, a friend to me, so I'm a friend to him. But yeah, man, we come out here, and I don't even generally come out here for girls, but it just happens. Like it's it's one of those things. If if you're dating, if you're looking looking to date, and you know you want something different besides Tinder or something like that, man, go to a big park like this one. We're in an open field, but the park is actually behind us. That's that's the gated park back there, and it's it's just another. It's the same, same size as this one, but it's got benches and you know it's got more trees. This is a kind of an empty field but go to the park man uh get you a dog go to the park uh hang out talk to people it's just a good way to get out get you some vitamin d um yeah man get a dog get a dog all right man we're, we're still here uh, i wanted to i wanted to give a quick update uh to that last portion of the video something i left out and this kind of goes along with like the alpha mentality and and kind of being like an alpha male and and, it, and if, if you're getting a dog right and you're getting a dog because you love dogs but you also kind of want to implement this strategy i hate saying it's part of a strategy but it just kind of comes with the territory you don't have to get a dog for this reason you get a dog and this this is just something that comes with it it's just a plus it's just the icing on the cake of having a dog um, but I did want to say this, um, and it's going to sound terrible and I'm not prejudiced against any dogs. I pet all dogs. I love all dogs. But one thing I personally would never own, I just personally would never own a, a, a tiny dog or a mini dog. And I don't think you're going to get the same type of attention from females if you're walking through the dog park with your miniature poodle. I just, <laughs> it just doesn't seem like, I mean, I could be wrong, but I've heard other people talk about this and... This place is right next to an airport, so there's the plane. Let that thing pass. But um, I would I would recommend that this is something you think that you might want to do, and it might be part of your strategy. Don't don't get a little dog, man. Get you a, a full-blooded dog. You know, go out there and, and get you a good dog that's gonna live a long time, that's gonna be healthy. Um, I love mixed breeds. I've had a mixed breed. My mixed breed got cancer and he passed away you know it's just uh how things happen um and it was basically like his brother you know they were like brothers um the other dog was like a lab pit bull mix and he was just just a badass dog man he was awesome all muscled you know he was the same size as a lab tall like a lab but you could see the muscles through his through his damn fur he was big pit bull head people loved him too but i think um you know my opinion don't don't get a don't don't get a little poodle or like a don't try to come up and use these strategies while you're walking around with your um your taco bell dog man uh your chihuahua don't do it leave that dog at home and bring the big dog you know i just think that i think you'll be i think you'll have more um success with something like that it's just something i wanted to add in um i know i know that i see guys all the time with like little dogs and i'm just like man what do you do with that dog like how is that how is that <laughs> i just can't see i guess i'm prejudiced but i'm like how does that help you man how does that how is that fun like you throw the ball you can't throw a ball with a chihuahua i don't know that's just my my take on it but just a little little extra uh, reasoning to get a dog man just a little little example but okay guys another quick point about on you know being a dog owner and incorporating this into a strategy um as i was telling you guys earlier my dog max i, I had to work really hard with him over his entire life i still work with him even to this day making sure he's trained making sure he's disciplined and making sure that you know he acts right when he's around people and other dogs sometimes when he sees other dogs he might pull a little bit on the leash um but if, if i don't like that i can give it a, a nice little tug he'll look at me and i'll look back at him especially if i'm not wearing my sunglasses and he can see my eyes he'll know that i'm serious like right now he's pulling me trying to fix my glasses but you don't want to you don't want to use this strategy you don't want to go into a park with a dog that's i see dogs all the time here and I, I, I know people, they buy the dogs, they get the dogs, but they really don't have the mentality or the want to train them and make them act right. You can't have a girl, you can't approach a girl, you can't have a girl come up to you when your dog's jerking you all over the place. Let me cut him off the leash real quick. Come here, come here. If your dog's jerking you around, your dog's barking, I see dogs all the time, and they bark like crazy. They, that's all they know how to do. They'll be at the dog park and they'll walk around and anytime a person passes or another dog 
they go nuts. They just bark and bark and bark. And I'm walking past these people with my dog and he's quiet, calm, he just walks past. And the only thing I can really do is just kind of walk around them and just kind of, you know, smile or whatever, or not smile and just kind of pass them by and just be like, you know, whatever. But they'll have some, I see people, they'll have two dogs or three dogs and all of them are barking. And I'm like, why do you have three dogs and you can't train one? You got three dogs, but you can't train one. You know, training your dog not to, I don't train my dog not to bark. I just train him not to bark in certain situations. But if we're at home and we're wrestling and we're playing, he barks. I give him that permission. I let him bark. It's part of, you know, I wouldn't want nobody telling me I can't talk no more. I'm not gonna tell my dog he can't talk, but in a social situation when we're around people, he don't bark. I, my neighbor told me it's crazy. My neighbor today told me, he was like, hey, I heard your dog bark today. And I was like, yeah, I was wrestling with him. We were playing around. And he goes, man, I've never heard your dog bark. And I was like, yeah, man, he doesn't. Unless I antagonize it and I allow it, then he barked because he knows to listen to me, do what I tell him to, you know, goes along with being the alpha, you know, me and him, he knows, he listens, but he has to, they have to be able to, you know, obey you and just be able to listen and, and be calm and just have, you know, good social skills, good behavioral skills. And, and that's what people love. People are like, oh, you know, that's another thing that you get complimented on. People come up to you and they go, oh, he's so well behaved. Oh, he acts so good. How do you get him to um, be so well behaved? And it's just, it's not an overnight thing. You know, it's like anything else. It, it, took, a, it took a long time because he used to be, uh, my hands getting tired. He used to be kind of crazy a little bit when he was a puppy. And I just had to train him out of it. So that's just another point I wanted to cover. Like, make sure your dog is trained. Make sure they act right when you bring them. And that, that's going to get you um, a, a more positive response from people is when you have a well-behaved dog. Come on, boy. Come on. Oh. Max. Max. Get back in there. Get back in there. All right, guys. As you can see, Max is uh, wore out. We did our 10,000 steps. Um, I appreciate you watching the video. If you made it all the way through, I really appreciate you. Um, please go ahead and you know hit the like button subscribe if this is the type of content you enjoy um, like I said I appreciate it. I hope you guys are having a great day hope this uh, helps you in some way especially if you already have a dog or if you're thinking about getting a dog so you guys enjoy your day and I, I'll see you in the next one